Here we go. Round number one. Both fighters in an orthodox stance. Yeah, a little fill-out process from both fighters. Good low kick from Child. Yeah, very aggressive start from both fighters, especially Jordanakrak. Yeah, he's throwing heavy, heavy punches. They got a lot of bad intentions behind his shots. Yes, very much so. Chayot having uh, one fight already here at Max. I figured he was going to be the one that came out aggressive. He probably knows the style here more than anyone, but it's actually no Jodnakrak that's been the aggressor so far. Almost leaving himself open for that elbow, though. And again, so often we see this. <clears throat> Chayot just do a leg kick. And a lot of times fighters uh, have their tendency to let that first one slip through and don't really... Uh, respond to it by checking or anything like that and the damage accumulates so fast that by the time they realize what's happening they're in so much pain they can't even lift the leg that's in that previous exchange just as you were uh, referring back to that low kick Chayot had that huge cut open oh. up there on the forehead and the referee's gonna stop the fight here and have the uh, the ringside doctor take a look you can see the blood pouring out right now. But I mean, sometimes when it's up on the head that high, it, it looks it looks worse than it is. It's because it bleeds so much. But you see there the ringside doctor. Going to let it continue. Yeah. Those elbows... Both fighters throwing elbows. Yeah, somebody's going to get cut again here, possibly dropped. But I tell you what, if Charles keeps attacking that leg, it could be uh, a game changer. Yeah, he wants to stand and trade with the elbows, but it, I agree. I think he should go back to that leg. He, he landed. Yep, knock it off. Wasn't blocking that low kick. And again, scoring with that low kick. Given a lot of time to uh, Jodnakrak to let his hands go. You see that red mark right above the leg there. Jodnakrak. Yeah, I think Charles is making a excuse me a serious mistake by getting in this sort of elbow shootout with uh, Jodnakrak. I think he should go right back to the leg kick. Almost on the top of his head. There's that elbow right there. It looks like that was the one that opened up that cut. <clears throat> Both fighters were exchanging heavy, heavy elbows. But like I said, I, I really think Charles is doing himself a huge disservice by not uh, continually attacking that leg. And as far as uh, Yud knock rock, he just keep doing what he's doing with those elbows. There again. Child's trying to return to that low kick and scoop there and dump down in the ground. Again, Jodnakrak doesn't have any defense whatsoever for that low kick. Starting to defend it now. On the back foot, though. Fighters into the clinch, taking some knees there from Chayo. It seems like Yodnakrak Yod turned into a one trick pony almost, just looking for that big elbow. Yeah, but in uh, 
his favor is working. But, uh, Childs is uh, accommodating him and uh, playing that game with him right now. Stale made it in the clinch. Rub knock knock. Put that shit in there across the inner thigh of Chayo. It just seems like Chayo wants to fight that much more at this point. It's the more aggressive of the two. Getting caught there with an elbow though. Back, backing himself up there into the corner. Good knees and the elbow. Good luck. Both fighters showing a ton of heart right now. Taking a lot of punishment with those elbows and knees. Yeah, this is a fight fans uh, kind of fight right here. Yeah, perfect fight to open up the show here at Max. Definitely going to be a, a difficult fight to follow for the next four fights. Absolutely. Usually on the weekends we have the bonus and the, the double bonus, the super double bonus. If this was a weekend show, these fighters would definitely be earning some extra cash. Uh, especially with that uh, stitch bonus, because I'm sure <laughs> there's going to be a lot of stitches given out after this one. Chayot now starting to slow down. The only problem with these kind of fights is if one of these fighters, like, <clears throat> friends, as you can see with Chow, sometimes when you get these good old-fashioned uh, fist fights, you, you, you let game plans go out the window. Like, he's completely forgotten the effectiveness of his low kick. And there, there it is again. There's still over a minute left in the third round. It just seems like Jodnak Rak has uh, already admitted defeat here. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> personally, when you, I'm always skeptical that I should say, uh, not a big fan of it because whenever you leave something in the hands of three other people, you don't know what they're seeing. <laughs> and so, that's sort of like uh, admitting defeat. It just never really sat well in my, in my eyes. Like, I never understood that really. I mean, you should fight to me until the last bell. Yeah, especially here with the three-round format. And I mean, we've seen some crazy fights here where things have turned around with one punch, one kick, one elbow, one knee. And they do want to get that invite back here to Max. If they want to make it to the Sunday show, the Saturday show, the Friday show. You know, they got to put on a strong performance. Yeah, you said it numerous times. This is essentially like a proving grounds or the, now I want to say minor leagues, but, <clears throat> yeah, a feeding ground for those shows. So here's where you truly want to impress. Yeah, so far it's been Chayot. Suffered that cut early on, but came back strong. And that's the bell to end the third and final round. Let's go to the ring announcer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, of the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for the winner, Blue Corner. Your number one, Sancho Thoribad.